You may abandon your own body, but you must preserve your honor. Step by step, walk the thousand mile road. No man is invincible, and therefore no man can fully understand that which would make him invincible. Never stray from the way. To know 10,000 things, no one well. It may seem difficult at first, but all things are difficult at first. Know your enemy, know his sword. You can only fight the way you practice. The only reason a warrior is alive is to fight, and the only reason a warrior fights is to win. Whatever the way, the master of strategy does not appear fast. Develop intuitive judgment and understanding for everything. In battle, if you you make your opponent flinch, you have already won. It is difficult to realize the true way just through sword fencing. Know the smallest things and the biggest things the shallowest things and the deepest things. Do nothing that is of no use. If you wish to control others, you must first control yourself. It is difficult to understand the universe if you only study one planet. Do not regret what you have done. The important thing in strategy is to suppress the enemy's useful actions, but allow his useless actions. You win battles by knowing the enemy's timing and using a timing which the enemy does not expect. Generally speaking, the way of the warrior is resolute acceptance of death. When in a fight to the death, one wants to employ all one's weapons to the utmost, I must say that to die with one's sword still sheathed is most regrettable. There is nothing outside of yourself that can ever enable you to get better, stronger, richer, quicker, or smarter. Everything is within. Everything exists. Seek nothing outside of yourself. All men are the same except for their belief in their own selves, regardless of what others may think of them. Truth is not what you want it to be, it is what it is, and you must bend to its power or live a lie. Polish your wisdom, learn public justice, distinguish between good and evil. Study the ways of different arts one by one. Today is victory over yourself. Of yesterday, tomorrow is your victory over lesser men. You should not have a favorite weapon. To become over familiar with one weapon is as much a fault as not knowing it sufficiently well. This is a truth. When you sacrifice your life, you must make fullest use of your weaponry. It is false not to do so, and to die with a weapon yet undrawn. When you attack the enemy, your spirit must go to the extent of pulling the stakes out of a wall and using them as spears and halberds. To make anyone immediately regret insulting, you show that you are unaffected.
There are four ways in which men pass through life. As gentlemen, farmers, artisans, and merchants. It is bad for commanders and troopers to have likes and dislikes. Immature strategy is the cause of grief. You should not have any special fondness for a particular weapon or anything else for that matter. Too much is the same as not enough. Without imitating anyone else, you should have as much weaponry as suits you. As you get the rhythm you discern how to win. Perceive that which cannot be seen with the eye. Perception is strong and sight weak. In strategy it is. If you know the way broadly, you will see it in everything. Everything can collapse. Houses, bodies, and enemies collapse when their rhythm becomes deranged. A bullet from a gun does not make a distinction between practice and combat. You are training to be one, and the same way in your life. My body may become dust, but I will still live. You must understand that there is more than one path to the top of the mountain. Get beyond love and grief. Exist for the good of man. Respect the gods and Buddhas, but do not depend on them. Though you give up your life, do not give up your honor. Perception is strong and sight weak. In strategy, it is important to see distant things as if they were close and to take a distanced view of close things. It is said the warriors is the twofold way of pen and sword, and he should have a taste for both ways. Observe their attacking order, and go to me first those who attack first.